Hello everyone viewers, welcome to new subscribers and Namaste This video is about Guru, one of the subscribers from India He studied BCom, that is a 3 years graduation Then he did networking course, that is CCNA And then he through consultancy, he worked there for 2 years And then, um, yeah, he moved to then he moved to another MNC and then he moved to Canada. So he watched my videos. Um, you understand Canada is better than US. Yeah, he studied, uh, then he moved to Canada. He watched my videos and then he preferred Canada than to US. So I posted 12 questions and then he has replied last night. Um, the questions are like, I mean, I will make. Uh, videos on the questions uh, why did you choose uh, Canada to USA one question second is uh, what is the process third how much time did you take and then when do you make decision to opt for Canada uh, did my videos give in any information to choose or impact your decision how is college or university in Canada Seventh question. Before that, how is work culture in India? Speak truth uh, without company names. And uh, how is work culture culture in India in Canada? Sorry. And uh, do you live? Do you like Canada and India? Why? Uh, what are your next plans? PR in Canada or TN visa to USA? Why didn't you consider USA? So, what is your advice? So guys watching this video, so these are the questions. Uh, for all reasons, privacy and security and safety, I am not revealing its uh, complete name. Yeah, thank you for watching and email us any questions which will be at usa.com. Thank you. Yeah, let me read the first question. Um, why did you choose Canada to USA? Um, I will read in between those lines. Uh, US is a great country, uh, not denying it, but I mean, I mean, I will read as this. Uh, but I choose Canada because it's personally beneficial for me economically and immigration wise and some other personal factors. I am not denying it initially even I wanted to immigrate to US but after watching Kumar Garu videos and doing in-depth research on US immigration I did not quite feel it's worth all that effort, energy, mental strength and lot of other things in brackets. Trust me, amount of research I have done and the hours spent on doing the research, I believe only 1 in 10,000 do that. I even did research about Australia and compared lifestyles and cost of living in both the countries like Australia and US and Canada, I think. Sure, Australia is great too, but Canada is little more economical and they have a lenient immigration policy. Now I will tell you exactly why I wanted to move to a developed country or a western world. Me and my family, that is his family, have faced a lot of financial troubles. Since I was a kid, he was a kid, uh, he has some responsibilities that need to take care. After all the education he had in India and salary he used to get was peanuts. Peanuts means very cents and money can do nothing to fulfill his family wishes and uh, personally he loves traveling and uh, want to travel the world freely so Indian passport has visa free limit of 51 countries according to he shared the link and uh, Canada has 154 countries so I have utmost respect to India and my home his hometown and will never forget the roots where he has come from uh, but there are certain things which don't serve my purpose his purpose and life in India Hence, he chose his path. He loves tennis. He loves travel all countries where majority tennis tournaments happen and don't, doesn't want to a visa every single time when he wishes to travel. He wants to be a citizen of the world and travel freely wherever he wants to go. Because you travel, you get educated yourself and you will tend to become a better person and get to know yourself a lot. And sure, there are nitty gritty details as to why Canada and all that. It's not the right platform to share everything. This is the first question. 
second what is the process well first i wanted to come directly as a pr permanent resident but uh, you need to at least have two years of work experience and there are so many other factors that come into picture when you choose pr as your first choice of immigration and i thought well it's going to be a long time to get all this done and it is 100 per, 100% not sure not sure right so it could be a hit or miss thing hence i chose student path which is fastest and easiest way to immigrate i could study here work legally part time and after completion uh, completing education work under a canadian employer for one year and you are eligible to apply for pr well that sounded way too easy for me and the extremely complicated us immigration policy <coughs> sorry which is broken and beyond repair it takes a huge deal to fix it i just went to an education consultant and spoke with them sure even it's a business for them as well but at the end of the day you should focus on your course and make sure you complete it successfully be in good touch with your professors they will recommend you to to big gains right how much time did you take uh, it took it took him almost 6 months for the entire college application and the visa processing stage so when did you make a decision to opt for canada so well i i have always wanted to move to move out of india after extensive research among us canada australia and new zealand i chose canada while i was working in bangalore exactly any student do similar kind of research i didn't sometime in 95 did my videos give any information to choose or impact your decisions if it wasn't for you i would have definitely been under the false impression that all indians in us are super genuine super genuine uh, people and i don't have that slightest idea of how people cheat and get away with it i can't thank you enough thank you okay let's continue how is college or university in canada that is the sixth question i posted to guru and he replied so he replied there are extremely good and top notch stop comparing them with other universities in the world perhaps canada has some of the toughest requirements to get into universities if you want to get into top to some decent university and if you have even if you have even single backlog you won't get admission and i have met and spoken with indian students here who have who have sorry who has a decent or who have decent gpa and are serious about studies university of british columbia university of mcgill uh, university of toronto have some serious ac- academic uh, prerequisites and you just can't get away with average marks so please don't come here and they say that it's not like california or whatever so every country has requirements in different fields and they design program and courses where there are demand for most number of jobs colleges here emphasize on actual practical learning skill skill trades and makes you ready for the job whereas universities are more into theory and the learning and all other stuff and don't bluntly choose any program first analyze where you want to see yourself in the next 5 to 10 years okay plan ahead career that you want to be in strictly no spoon feeding here we are brought up in in an extremely dependent and spoon fed environment that's india is writing about here it doesn't work that way if you cannot figure out what you want to be and be with like go with the flow attitude trust me it will be so it will get worse so the next question i asked is uh, before that how is work culture in india speak truth without any 
company and bad have had bad experience with the management and co-workers in the company that i have worked for it's basically a joke so if you belong to a particular region in india and speak the language that manager speaks that then you will be his best friend no matter what you can crack jokes with him have fun and you will be treated with utmost respect for the viewers who are not indians i am explaining india has 29 states and 7 union territories each state speaks different language for example tamil nadu they speak tamil and telangana and andhra they speak tamil telugu north is most of the states or some of the states they speak hindi so unless your manager uh, speaks the same language that you speak you don't get good respect that's what he is conveying here okay let's continue or else you you are not even cared sitting in front of computer for 8 hours listening to gossips and making gossips cracking some nonsense jokes struggle in traffic for 2 hours in one way oh boy what not politics jealousy complaints indian corporate world is a huge disaster most of the jobs are support jobs outsourced by developed countries like usa and uk and we have this thing for white people where we consider ourselves ourselves inferior and them inferior to them i think and the superior they, and they can, i mean the other person over at onset considered as superior and we try to lick their ass sorry for being brutally honest uh, this is because i ask him to write truth so this is what so this is what happens in most of the corporate jobs most people hate what they do and some don't have option they end up being in some job and same position forever uh, with like 2 to 3 percent salary hike the only exception where you can find a decent corporate crowd or the companies that are extremely good like the non-indian companies where people from iit and other top colleges in india are hired the ones that are sensible and have come for come from decent family with good education and upbringing it doesn't matter how much you scored and what college you went to if you are not a decent human being then nothing matters next question how is work culture and culture in canada uh, just below sorry just blew how is work culture culture in canada just blew my mind away my manager treats everyone the same it doesn't matter if you are a canadian or indian or you belong to any other national here there is hierarchy only in the job position but as a human being you are cre- you are treated equally and the canadians in general are extremely well known for being nice nicer and canada is multicultural accepting country no country is free of racism but still uh, way ahead of its peers next question do you like canada and india why answer i love canada yes i love canada with all my heart more than any other commonwealth country i have my reasons i know canada's history and its multicultural society and how friendly friendly the neighborhoods are people in general are extremely nice compared to australia new zealand or us there is no second thought about me liking india i love my country and the city that i grew up in i always will do sometime sometimes when things are not in my in your control you make tough choices and move on for a better life if i was blessed with better life and money in india with my limited talent maybe i have never left india but there are unlimited problems in india which is not something to do with me to fix them all yeah the 10th question uh, what are your next plans pr in canada 
or TN visa to US here. This is a question I ha have asked him. My plan is to stay in Canada, get a permanent resident and become a citizen of Canada. Straight and simple. It is my life and I have my reasons. If some people don't like it, it is not my problem. I am never moving to US, but I love to travel in US. Yeah, why didn't you consider US? Yeah, this is the question I mean, uh, I've asked and then very patiently waiting for the answer. Uh, because I love Canada and their simplicity, US becoming dangerous day by day with gun violence and mass shootings and their immigration policy is a joke and they are not even in the top 100 in the world's happy index whereas Canada is in the in top 10 and it, it's too populated with Indians which I don't personally prefer. There are lots of reasons for me not to pick USA and Canada has three cities in the world's top most livable cities in the world Toronto, Calgary and Vancouver. According to the me US is just popular destination for Indians who wants to go abroad. They have no patience to explore other options and countries. And I hate how US immigration officials treat immigrants. There is no guarantee that you will be allowed back into the country once you leave. Doesn't matter they can uh, pick any reason. Yeah, and my last question and twelfth question to Guru is what is your advice or guys or advice to guys watching this video? This video means all the twelve questions. And do your research, don't go abroad just because your friend went or your senior went or nest house auntie's son went or somebody in your relative went. Yeah of course you can make money money is required for essential living but it is not everything you take 40 to 50 lakhs uh, loan from bank get masters in cs from some university in usa and you struggle to get calls from employers that is indian employers or american whatever because you are not us citizen so yeah do your research and don't complicate your life I might have missed few points but still I wrote what I felt from the bottom of my heart. This is written by Guru, all the 12 answers. Thank you for watching.